Bay Farm in the screeching height of spring. Late in May. It's almost June. Memorial Day crept up quickly. We all got soaked and now it's over. Another arbitrary holiday slides down the slice. This side, the wooded side, is eventually a property of Kingston's. And this fieldy side belongs to Duxbury. This is where the Bay Circuit Trail ends on its southern terminus. And this trail goes to River Street in Kingston. We're at the edge of Bay Farm, and this is one access way from the Kingston side. We're soon to come upon the poor pummeled kiosk. And one can hear witchety, witchety, witchety of the yellow throat. Suckle, old remnant stuff. And here's another bumper crop of early spring jewelweed for those of you afflicted by poison ivy. <coughs> and this little easement trail brings us to the Kingston side entrance to Bay Farm. We're along a yellow trail, I believe. This heads up towards the parking lot and this heads down towards the water. And we're mostly going to explore the woods part of it today. It's a fairly extensive white cedar grove with all manner of other little habitats. We'll do a brief little run down of the water. An old wolf tree. It's pretty bright. We're just coming off of a rather soggy Memorial Day weekend. I usually give those mass public events a wide berth, but it did mean that getting around was a bit difficult if you're not a driver. Ah, yes, there's the water. There's a bench. Perfect. Good place for a photograph. Yes. Eh. Eh. So this will take you over to the main field side in Duxbury. And here, of course, is the 
bay. It's way low tide. <laughs> and here's a thoughtful little bench, somewhat hemmed in by Japanese knotweed. Yeah. And there's the posture part of Kingston on the water. This is a little sort of folk trail that probably takes you back towards River Street as well. That sounds like a thrasher or something. Really low tide. So much for waterfowl. Don't see any little clam flats birds anywhere. They shut them down. <laughs> they went somewhere else. The last storm polluted the bay. Probably. And now we'll begin our way through the Kingston Cedar Forest woods and mixed habitats full of late spring chirping things. Oh, an interesting kind of color hybrid pattern on this old farm honeysuckle. There it's kind of purplish pink and there it's more white. Oh yeah, it's full of nectar. Hummingbirds are surprisingly pugnacious. Yeah. Have, you, have, you, have you been dive bombed by them ever? Well, um, no. The ones that we had by our front door, they were actually kind of nice. Well, if you get near their nest, they'll dive bomb you like crazy. Oh, yeah. But they're so tiny and ineffectual that you think it's like a really big mosquito. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the poor things, they can't get no respect. They're in the Rodney Dangerfield species right. situation, even though they're completely furious. Can't help being as small as they are. No, and they're up against some big ridiculous human who's hardly aware of their existence or the proximity of their nest. And so we've rejoined the beleaguered and pummeled, sad kiosk that deserved a better fate. Yeah, aging Atlantic white cedar all over the place.